Hello and welcome back to Legends of Valaria Beta with me, Barden. We're on version 0.5.49.07 and I'm getting punted around by all these people. Unhand me, I am your queen. What are you doing? I can have you beheaded for that. Okay, so we're going to try and get ourselves outside and go and do this attack. Hopefully we don't fall through the world as has happened pretty much every time recently that we tried to, to go outside with a lot of our army with us. Okay, so let's try and move before they trap us. Oh, they trapped us. Get out of the way. Please let me through. Please, please. All I want to do is go over there. Why don't you let me through? And we're down to like one to four frames per second. So, yeah, but as I said before, this is something. Ah, there we go. Through the world. This is something it's important to show people what kind of a middle of the road PC is going to be like with this game. Because I know that people who have, who have more modern, decent PCs are, can get 60 frames per second. But, you know, um, my, my PC is... It's not the best. It was, it probably was, like in terms of gaming laptops, the best when I got it, or close to the best when I got it. Um, but that was a few years ago. But still, it's, it's got a decent, it's got an i7 processor. It's got a decent um, NVIDIA graphics card. It's got, I think, um, 16 gig of um, RAM as well. And then, like, you know, overall the specs are pretty pretty okay um but still it struggles a lot with this game so you know kind of shows that the optimization really is required for a lot of these kind of bigger bigger battles like you don't have to you don't have to bring your army everywhere thankfully in the game we're gonna do a run now you can see the big long string of people behind me. So, so as I get as I get too far away from the ones at the back, they're gonna keep popping in on top of me. So you can kind of just see their heads there. So they're gonna do that all the way, all the way home. Well, not all the way home, all the way to the home of the people that we're going to attack. I guess. Let's start making our way up. So we need to, I think, go up and over that central mountain. So let's... We probably should walk down the road a bit more before we do that. Okay, so let's get by here. The two dudes should still be there. Yeah, there they are. They just stood up. They're sitting down. So eventually we'll be able to afford... Oh no, did I just get myself stuck by looking? Them. I think I might have done. Please let me buy. Okay, let's see if we can jump. Uh, there we go. Okay. But eventually maybe we'll be able to afford some kind of seats or stools for those guys so they don't have to sit on thin air forever. Alright, so where we're going is behind this mountain on our right. And we're going to get lag all the way through this, so a lot of the fighting is going to be done by by the army rather than by me mainly because um, I'm not even going to be able to see most of the enemies I think we fight it's going to be like I think we saw before where either they're going to be invisible or if they're on the screen they're going to look like they're frozen but I'm still going to be getting attacked and stuff so, so we just need to kind of try and defend ourselves a bit and leave it to our trust in our army that they can get the job done or at least kill enough of the enemy that the quest at least decides that we've done enough and it's going to be a real shock for me one day when the game actually adds in fall damage i'm not led to run over the mountains anymore hi there so there's some enemies now so our guys can attack them if they want me, I'm trying to get myself back on the road. Ok, 
Okay, there's my a lot of my army just popped in there on top of me. I'm going to hit number seven. Okay, so let's go five and then sorry. Let's hit seven. Oh, it won't even let me do it now. The other way, please. Okay, let's try two. And seven. There we go. Okay. Just wanted to get that back up. Right. You guys attack. Oh, follow. Uh, no, attack. Go attack. There you go. Okay. Now you can follow me. Okay, at least I can kill you. And then where we're trying to get to is just up here. Just around the corner. So on the left, you're going to see the wall where, like the story says, they're getting reinforced from. And I believe at some point behind that wall will be accessible as an, an, a new area. So that's, that's something to look forward to. And then over here on the right, the wooden uh, kind of palisade, that's where their camp is, the camp that we have to to raid. So basically we just need to, to kill enough of them so that the game says, okay, yeah, you've done, you've done your bit. Now, here's where the game slows down a lot, I think. Look at this though, I can just kill the invisible man, it's not cool. At least do some damage to him. Oh, there's too many of these guys. Need to force my way out. Where's my army? Come on, army. You're supposed to be protecting your queen. And you're off fighting. You're all the way over there, look. What the hell's going on here? It's about a hundred of you attacking three people or something over there. Oh, now I do have a bunch of them on me. Okay. Let's eat some food. Yeah, now we have like a million people. Okay. Let's try help them here. Yeah, you can see the lag is pretty bad. Okay, he's dead. I'm not sure who I'm actually killing here. Hopefully it's, they're all enemies. Uh -oh. Ooh, get out there. What are you doing? <laughs> Just like a, who me? I kind of, what am I? What did I do? Just kind of shrug. Oh, wow. Did you say that to me? This? Let's have a look at this battle from here. Ah, maybe not the best. Oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah, you can see the tactical view is going to be pretty good at some point. And then we're getting... We're taking damage, so... Need to get the hell out of there. Do that, and then okay. So this guy is pursuing us. There you go. 
Okay, and he was actually the last guy we needed to kill. Nice. Up over here because it seems to be a bit too many of them. Oh. Got stuck there for a second. Yeah, he's there. And just kill this lady. And then, okay, he's dead as well. Nice. Okay, so, um, you guys follow me. Oh, sorry. Follow me. And let's head on back home because we gave them a bit of a bloody nose and we don't want to die. Okay, we got these two to deal with. So these aren't strictly connected with the the bandits in the camp because they've got different they've got a different livery on the gear. These are just regular bandits. But our guys still dispatch them. It's fine. So now we're gonna try and get ourselves over this lovely mountain. Skyrim style. Let's make our way home. Yeah, so there hasn't been a an update to the to the beta in a while, but I'm I'm expecting some pretty soon because the guys have a lot of ambitious stuff that's coming out in the the winter patch or well now we're kind of in spring but i suppose the you know they are planning to put in i believe the world map and oh come on please let us get up that last little bit no okay we're just gonna fall over there but yeah like they, they had the world map there was um, possibly new new classes um, the storyline is kind of taking a bit of a backseat at the moment uh, but there was a lot of other stuff as well to go in there too so so I'm looking forward to, to seeing what's the next thing that they work on because they, there's no doubt that they've they really have expanded the game a lot in the last little while in terms of like introducing all the different classes and the RPG leveling system. Oh no, we somehow ended up somewhere that we don't want to be. Okay. So let's just let's just pretend and run by the back of their place. Hang on. We want to go home. What am I doing? All I need to do is this. Hit eight. Hit R. And then do that. Why is it doing all the running about? Mainly because I probably wanted to talk, but hey ho. Oh, and one thing to mention on when we're talking about talking is that I've got my new microphone um, in use now, and it's got um, all the other bits and pieces that I got with as well. So it's, there's some decent equipment. The you should notice a. Uh, and pretty substantial hopefully improvement in the audio um, I have had feedbacks on other series where I've used this microphone um, this week and people have said yeah that it's really gotten better so hope, hopefully for you too as well that it's gotten better and then also hopefully there will be kind of extra incremental improvements as well as I get used to the equipment and find the, the sweet spot as well for, for my particular setup. So let's pop in here and then I'm hoping to couple that with a a new PC in the next couple of months. So then 
when I get that, we can see just how well this game will run on a newer PC as well. So you'll get a bit of both. Okay, so let me talk to El Capitano here. Okay, um, about the security, about the outcasts. Yes, I attacked the stronghold. Excellent. My scouts informed me that the battle went well. Alas, after the battle, they reinforced the stronghold with troops from the wall. But they shifted into defensive position and reside around the stronghold. Greenside is safe for now. It's good to hear. Why does it say never mind? That's great news. That, that, obviously that's just a, a standard thing in there, but that should definitely be changed to, oh, that's amazing. Or something like that. And then do the same thing as this button does now, which is bring you back or take you out of the menu. Okay, so we leveled up too. Nice. Okay, now let's have a quick look at our level up. So character. Right, so we've got two attribute points. Spirit. And I think maybe one of these two. Let's go with Constitution. Then we have two skill points. We have 10 proficiency as well, though. Are we going to need more than... Let's check. Where are we? Elemental. Okay. Or, sorry, Rift Mage. So level 80 is the highest that we need to be for that. So we could maybe upper elemental mage a bit. So let's do that. Because we don't really use the ranger element that much. Because we do have we do have ranged spells that we can use. The warrior is obviously uh, useful because we do a lot of fighting with our sword. Then the druid mage we're not really like it's not going to be that useful to have a an animal companion out when we have a personal shield up. Okay, so Rift Walker, um, Zelrat's orb. Okay, so let's unlock. Okay, and then I want to I want to try that out next time. See how much damage Zelrat's guided orb is going to do. And then what's the other one then? Rift Anchor. Teleport to town. See, this is the thing is that we have that already because we got it before there was an update and we this is the same file. It's the same save file. So something happened whereby the game still thinks that we have it. So I'm still going to get it when we get under skill because I I just feel like we should have this star filled in. Like I don't like I, I I'm not gonna stop myself using it, but I don't like the fact that we have it when this game is kinda telling us that we shouldn't have it. So as I said, it's not gonna stop me using it like I did today, but at the same time when I have the skill points to pay for it, I will pay for it. And then we look at then maybe uh, leveling up something else as well. So we might try um, Defender or Warrior Spirit at some stage as well. Those are ones that I definitely want to, to go a bit more into and see how how those would work. But I think that would be a complete new build. So as, an, as a Rift Mage, I think Elemental Mage is the one that's probably going to um, kind of complement complement our build a bit better so we probably look at going into that so for now that's it um, i'm not sure let me actually before we go let's talk to this guy because i want to see are there any more quests for us to do no okay so it looks like we've completed all the quests so what I'm going, my plan for future episodes is, um, I'm going to do just a bit of exploring, which we will probably do next time. Then 
depending on i'm not sure whether i'm going to try doing a different build or if i'm going to it depends on how much free time i have really there, there are some um stories that are written um that are kind of based on the lore of the game uh well loosely based on the lore of the game that i'd like i'd like to do videos on as well so i might actually read those in my house at some stage um so if, hopefully people will be interested in those and other than that that's it for now next time we will probably as i say do some exploring hope to see you then and that's it goodbye thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.